Hello everyone! Today we will demonstrate how you can crop any video into various distinctive shapes just like this. Today we will attempt to cropper any video into the shape of an ink splash. If you create tutorial videos and have been adding your face cam video in a circular or square shape in the corner up until now, I encourage you to give it a try. I assure you that it will make your face cam video more visually appealing. So further ado, let's start. First of all, go to Google and search for an ink splash PNG image with a transparent background. You can choose any shape, but make sure it has a transparent background. You will find here thousands of ink splash PNG image. Pick one from here. After picked, open Adobe Premiere Pro on your computer. Create a project as usual. Now import your background image or video. In my case, I'm going to use a paper texture image. Drag it on timeline. Increase its length as your demand. Import the video that you want to crop. Maybe you all know that. I do not use my face cam in videos. That's why I'm going to select a model's video as an example. Drag it on timeline. Cut the footage as you need. Scale up and reposition the footage if you want to do. Now import your downloaded shapes PNG image. Drag it up onto the video. Then extend its length according to the video. Now go to effects option from here. Search here, track mat key. Drag the effect on your video. By selecting the video layer, go to Effect Control Panel. Now, take note of where the PNG is positioned, specifically on which track. In my case, it's located on the V3 track. So that, select V3 from this matte option. For your kind information, V3 means Video 3. See, the crop effect has been successfully applied. Now, by selecting the Ink Splash PNG and accessing the Effect Control Panel, you can customize the video area according to your preferences. And by highlighting the video from Timeline, you can move it anywhere or upscale its size too from Effect Control Panel. Let's have a preview. See? We've successfully achieved it. This will be highly effective for all content creators who use face cams in their tutorial videos. That's all. You also can use a drop shadow under this cropped video. Drag the effect on your video.
Now, feel free to customize the shadow to your liking. But please refrain from changing the shadow color from black to any other color, as shadows are naturally dark, which means they should remain black. Let me zoom in on the video to show you the difference between shadows on or off. And for today, that's all. Subscribe us for more. Remember, tech passion fuels us. Join our geeky community for an immersive tech experience.